episode 100! Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm just a fellow who loves beer, and today I'll be retasting my 184th different beer, McGoslin Brewing Incorporated's St. Ambrose Citrelle, the Great Pumpkin Ale. Off the uh, cap, we have their logo, which is a griffin. Pretty cool! Wow, look at that color. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The head kicked up easily about two fingers, nice and frothy on top. Snap, crackle, pop if you can hear it. Yeah, just amazing. Very nice. Uh, the color, let's call that a, uh, oh, what? Almost like a dark caramely orange, uh, changing color around the fringe. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, they were established in 1989 and are located at 4850 St. Ambrose Street in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Off the bottle, brewed just once a year. The Great St. Ambrose Pumpkin Ale returns this fall to bewitch beer lovers with a savory blend of pale and caramel malts, hops, pumpkin, and spices. If you enjoy the out of the ordinary, this seasonal offering will be sure to please you. Ingredients listed are water, malt, wheat, hops, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and pumpkin. This beer clocks in at 5%. Off their website, each year as the leaves fall and the north wind blows, St. Ambrose Pumpkin Ale makes its return. A magical potion that casts a potent spell with its well-crafted blend of blonde and caramelized malts, gentle hop, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and pumpkin. Its delicate malty character and hint of sweetness will quench any creature looking for easy refreshment. The hops they use are Cascade and Willamette. Its IBUs are set at 18. Uh, head died down pretty quickly, uh, just down to a bare minimum on top. It's mostly bald on top. Let's give it a try. And what I gathered from it, wonderful aroma. Pumpkin and spices, the nutmeg and ginger are holding hands and terrorizing the family reunion. Not bad, they're just the incessant kids that everybody can relate to. It smells deep and delicious. I'm getting ghost malt on the nose and extinct hops. More of the ingredients in spades. Smooth, creamy mouthfeel, light, medium body that rounds to medium, medium. Malts pour over the palate, setting up for light pumpkin. Good light spices. The cinnamon is there, but not overstepping. The hops are invisible, balanced perfectly by the flavorful ingredients. Nutmeg, but not dark forest crushing your throat. Uh, laid back and just along for the ride. The taste lingers and fades a little quick. The carbonation wakes up if you ask it to. On my metric system, I'll give it a 2. Excellent. I'm impressed and feel it stands above. For the past number of years now, I've been looking forward to the seasonal release and enjoyed every single time it's come out. Great job, guys. Cheers. <laughs>